welcome to our weekly kids time. Now would be a great time to grab a parent or a grandparent and a Bible as we get ready to dive into God's word. My name is Ellen and I'm so excited to learn with you. Let's open our imaginations and let these Bible stories come to life. God works in your life and in my life and in the lives of the people in the Bible. Today we're going to listen to the story of Rahab and hear how God worked in her life. We're going to open our Bibles to the book of Joshua and turn to the number two. Last week we talked about Miriam who was Moses' sister. She led the Israelites in song about what God had done for his big chosen family in bringing them through the sea. Miriam and her brothers, Moses and Aaron, led God's people in worshiping him in the wilderness and bringing them to the promised land. But Moses, Aaron, and Miriam died before they got to go into the promised land. God then chose a man named Joshua to lead the Israelites into their new home. There were already people living in the promised land. These people were different from the Israelites. They did not know God. They worshiped fake gods and idols instead. These people even had big cities like Jericho and a woman named Rahab lived in Jericho. One day, Joshua sent two spies to the city of Jericho. Spy mode. Okay, it's very, very dark in the city of Jericho. There are no street lamps only the moon and the stars for light. The two spies had never been to the city before and the gates are about to close. They need to find somewhere to go. If they get caught in the city, they'll be killed, but they also don't want to look suspicious. They quickly find a house to hide at. It's Rahab's house. They get in the house and soon after, Rahab and the spies hear a knock at the door. Important sounding voices say, bring out the men who came to you and entered your house because they have come to spy out our land. The spies and Rahab look at each other and Rahab points up to the roof. The spies race up to the roof and quickly hide in the flax. Remember, ancient houses didn't have hard roofs like our houses do today. They were made of flax, kind of like bundles of straw and they made a flat roof so the spies could lay on it and hide in the bundles of the flax. Rahab calls out to the king's men. Um, one minute. She hears the rustling on the rooftop stop. She knows the spies are hidden. She opens her door and the king's men start searching everywhere. They move the furniture and they push back the curtains. One of the men looks curiously at the roof and Rahab quickly says, Yes, the men came to me, but I did not know where they had come from. At dusk, when it was time to close the city gate, they left. I don't know which way they went. Go after them quickly and you may catch up with them. The men look at Rahab. She looks like she's telling the truth. They look at each other. And they march out of the house. Rahab catches her breath. She maybe counts to 10. And then she races up to the roof and sees the two lumpy spots where the spies are hidden. She leans over them and whispers, I know that the Lord has given you this land. I've heard the testimony about how your God split the seas. I believe that your God is God of heaven and earth. For protecting your lives, Will you protect my life and the lives of my family if you come to my city, Jericho? The spies agree to save Rahab and her family's lives if the Israelites come to attack the city of Jericho. They only ask that she ties a red rope from her window so they know which house is hers. The spies climb out of Rahab's window and race back home to tell Joshua of everything that happened. What's something big you know God has done? Would you tell someone about it? Is the story of what God has done big enough to tell other people? 
Rahab heard about God's people from far away and she believed. Because she believed, she got to join God's big chosen family. Are you ready to join God's work like Rahab? Let's keep praying our prayer this week. Jesus, I'd like to work with you today. And let's add, help me to share your big story with others. See you next week. Bye.